Hi everyone, so today I am going to do um, a probably pocket to go on this cover of the journal and I've decided that with this one I'm going to do like divider pages um, on black card and do a feature on each one and then just put some paper, I don't know, five, ten pieces probably between each one so that whoever has the journal can just fill those out themselves or just write in it, whatever they choose to do with it. So I'm probably going to do a couple on each video due to time because I don't want them to go on forever. So first one I'm going to do, I'm going to sew on, I've got the uh, skeleton leaves. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to sew on um, this way I think so this is going to be the pocket on the inside cover I'm going to sew around the leaf and probably edge it I'll probably sew around the edge as well and maybe put a bit more decor on there so all I've done is got an A4 piece of paper folded it in half and cut it and that's what size they're all going to be because that will fit in the folder lovely if I want to put tabs on or anything uh, before no I'm going to sew the leaf on first so I'm sorry about the sound on this I will I've got the most basic editing thing on my phone uh, I will try and cut out sound if I can so I apologize I'm just going to go on a small zigzag around the leaf I'm not going to stick it on at all. I don't want to stick it on. I'm just going to go with free stitching. But what I am going to do first is I'm going to punch my little... I don't measure this either. I just do it by eye. Okay, so I've cut my little divot out of there. That's with a three inch hole punch I've cut that out there okay so now for the leaf which is the nicest that looks nicest that way so I am sorry the light is dire in here today I am going to go looking at my shed soon so hopefully my what well, my cabin hopefully that's going to be organized soon okay so I'm just going to set this up I'm in frame trying to be let's just move that across a tad you can see I'm trying not to get my hands in so I'm literally just going to sew right around the edge of the leaf on this piece of card it's just cheap card stock I'll just start it off okay um by hand to the very end of it. Okay, spin it round. Oh, I'm going to come back down and go around. This. going over the stem a little bit so I don't want that to lift. Okay, and that will do. I'm going to cut my threads short. I don't like leaving long threads. Snip that off there. Okay, so that is our leaf. I am no great sewer, as you can probably see. 
little bit of towel, but I just wanted to, that's fixed onto there now, texture that feels lovely. <clears throat> okay, let's move that out of the way. I'm just going to move my glass board back so you don't get any glare. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, using my gilding wax, I'm just going to go around the edges and then I'm going to sew around the edges as well. So I'm just going to put gilding wax on and then I'm going to sew over that. So that's all around the edges of this pocket. <clears throat> Just get it off my fingers so I don't cover everything in it. Okay. So this time I'm going to do a slightly wider stitch. I'm still doing the zigzag. But I'm going to go on a slightly wider stitch. Sorry for the noise again. Okay, now we'll just. Start it off with a stitch and then. Okay, so now I've just uh, you see I'm just doing a zigzag stitch around there. Now I'm just going to add I've got these fabricy leaves. And I think I'm going to maybe just let's have a look. I've got some sorry silk here in a foresty green colour. <clears throat> maybe if I'm just gonna pleat this up a little bit. Stitch that onto there. Let's try that again.
let's have a look. Right, I'm just gonna put this onto a straight stitch. I'm just gonna secure those down with a couple of stitches, I think. I've got nothing planned with this, it's just whatever happens, I think. I usually like the way things turn out when you do that. It's just I don't think that's going anywhere, but... Let's see how that's turned out. Okay, that's quite like that. A bit rushy. Rushy, is that even a word? I don't know. Okay, so this is going to be for the inside cover uh, a bit of white there so I don't need and I think then I'll perhaps just pop pop that down there I'll glue that on I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to maybe I might put a bit of a paint texture on there. Anyway, that is that one made. I'm going to glue that on there. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for that. Just position where it's going to go. I'm not going to glue the pocket in yet because I think I'm going to do some sort of paint effect behind it. Let's have a look where that's going to go. Right there. Okay, so we'll stick that down onto there. I'm going to lift it out for now and let that dry. So that is that one made. Okay, and then I'm going to do one of the inserts. Now with this one, I was thinking I'm going to do like um, a bark I've got a like a wood stencil. I have some what's this one? Rich espresso coffee. Um, and this is a metallic <clears throat> acrylic paint. And then I'm going to stencil onto there. And then I've got some of the webbing uh, ribbon, but I've cut it into little strips and I'm going to glue. No, I'm going to sew that on top of it then, I think. We'll see. Let's just, let's see how this bit goes first, perhaps. I'm going to put my sleeves up because I don't want to get acrylic paint off my clothes. Uh, let's put a, a dollop of this in here. <clears throat> Just line this up. This is just a little makeup sponge. I use these for just dobbing the paint on.
could use a brush as well. I just prefer to do it with this when I'm doing a stencil. Not too worried about it being even or not even because I'm going to sew some of those pieces over the top so it's, that's fine. <clears throat> the only trouble with acrylic paint is so sticky this is. It lifts up the stencil. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see how that went. That's not too bad. Okay so I'm just going to move it down Move it down and if I can carry it on. No idea where this is going, it's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Let's do this edge now. <clears throat> okay, and I think I'm going to turn it round. It. Okay, so that is how that has turned out, which I'm quite pleased with. It shouldn't take too long to dry. No, it's almost touch dry now. Um, and then what I was thinking was I will. I could even use some of the uh, that ribbon in there as well, because you can still see through. And then I might just put a little bit of green tones onto this once it's sewn on. I've got all sorts of little pieces and if something's not fitting how you want it to then you can always cut it, cut it to fit. You could stick this on. Um, no reason why you can't stick it on, but I just don't want the glue showing. So I just thought it might be might be better just to sew them. So I don't want to place them all because they're all going to move anyway. But no. So that is what we have. At the moment so I think I'm just going to go over those with just a straight stitch I think and just go down them just to secure them in place more than anything so excuse me again while I just get the 
machine out again. This is going to be a really rough job. have all moved right I think what I will do I will just put pieces on as I come to them um, let's have a look okay let's just make it up as we go along that will be more fun Perhaps, hmm. or perhaps not. Could regret doing this. Okay, that's those. And let's do. Smaller piece down here. Oh, shall I go across? I'll go across in a minute. Uh, let's put the piece there. that off at that and then I'm just gonna sew up that one because that one there is hanging loose <laughs> where these crazy ideas come from Totally moved. <laughs> That's 
okay. I didn't worry about these things. across Okay, so let's have a look what we've got now. So we've got some of the fabric sewn on there. I'm just going to go over that one and add, I think, do I need to add a small piece there? Okay, bear with me one second, and then that's it for the sewing, I think. Okay, so what I will do, I will move that out of the way and I'm just going to cut all the little threads off that are here, there and everywhere. And this I will put back onto because this is going to be a divider. So I will stick another black piece onto the other side of it and make it a double sided. So that's where we are with that. Now I am going to get the metallic green. Oops. Mm -hmm. green, the dark green. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my little tray out. And I'm just going to put a little mismatch of colours in here. Just tiny little bits. So that's a teal, a crystal green. This is Viridian, 
acrylic paint. It's quite a nice colour. It's this one. Light green. And what's this one? Sap green. Okay. Um, with that I'm going to get a another little sponge. It's got a tiny bit of water down on there. Just do a bit of a mix, I think. And then I'm just going to... There we go. I'm just going to dab it onto that... webbing. So I get the different greens coming through. Showing up, you probably can't see it. Oh, the light in here is so bad. Maybe if I try the overhead light as well. <clears throat> it's a really dull day today, it's raining and grey out, which doesn't help. I am actually sat next to a window, but you can't particularly. Where's the best light? Mm. It is showing up really nice and green on here. Um, however, I don't think it's showing up too well on the on the video. I'll finish doing it and then I'll, if I hold it up and say, I'll try a different light. a little bit over the gold as well just to blend it all in a little Just going to put in a little bit of what's this one? Ochre and just orange. And I'm just gonna give that little oh, some little flecks of orange on here just here and there I just want those colours to pop out a bit more I'm using the same same sponge Okay, so I hope you saw that's better. You can see the colours that are popping in that now. 
so that's got texture on it it's got different sorts of shades and tones on there okay so I'm going to let that dry totally and then I think what I will do in the next video I will will add something to that and also uh, I think I'll, I'll back it and we'll do something on the other side that is uh, I don't know complementary to it so they're the two two cards that I've done today so that is the pocket uh, which we'll fix on once I've decided what I'm doing underneath it just to give it something and then this one is going to be one of the dividers so it will have hole punches in it um, I'm going to have a think what we're going to add onto that because that I mean I love that that is absolutely super I love the colours there I love the way that's come out uh but we'll think what we can add to it. I want something that's really going to pop out on 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 there as a divider. Uh, maybe a little tab. And then we'll back the other side and think what we're doing with that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you for the next one. Bye.